Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com and we are talking about breakups for men. The topic for this video is why getting back together does not work in 95% of the cases. If you are in a breakup situation, you know, the hope of getting back together is probably what is going to keep you stuck. If you really want to get back with your girlfriend or with your ex-wife, I mean, this is really the kind of situation where you keep on looking into the past rather than being able to embrace the future. So it's very important to let go. And the reason why you must let go is because there is very little hope that getting back together works, okay? Uh, I have to reinforce that and say it again because most of the times when guys are in this transition period, they keep on looking into the past. They keep on hoping that somehow she's going to call, that she's going to miraculously change her mind and get back into your life and that you're going to, to be able to, to start life from where you left it with her this is not going to happen okay it's very clear it's very simple it's gone it's from the past and you have to let go there is only one situation where getting back together will work is if you have two persons willing to do all the work to you know overcome the challenges of a, of a past relationship that didn't work and are ready to focus on it consistently for a period of at least three months okay it takes focus, consistency for a couple that didn't work before for it to work now. And you need two people wanting to do the work together. The reason why it doesn't work in 95% of the cases is because couples don't actually have the motivation, the focus, and the follow-up to go ahead and do that. They are not going to do the work. They are not going to actually focus on facing the challenge that, that they were facing before and make the changes that they need to do uh, to, to make for the relationship to work. Suppose that, for instance, you used to, you know, to be in a situation where the sex life was not great, or where you were fighting all the time, or where you, know, you lost a little bit the passion in your relationship, and you felt your, your, your wife or girlfriend complaining a little bit, and you were not able to fulfill her needs. There are dozens of challenges that you can face in a relationship. The truth is that when you face these challenges, very often you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, hoping that things will get better, but they don't get better because there is no behavior change. You need to change something in your attitude or behavior, either her or you, so that you know, the, the couple actually overcomes the challenge that you are facing and things get better. Now, in most situations, people don't do that. They don't actually have the skills or the continuity or the focus to actually consistently uh, face these challenges and work on them you know, over and over again. For instance, if you were fighting a lot, if you had communication problems, all that can be solved, of course. All that has solutions, but most of the times, you know, one or both partners is going to give up and say something like, you know, it's just too hard, we are fighting all the time, I, we don't make any progress. And, be, and take a little bit of a self-defeating attitude. And therefore, when, um, you know, after a while of, of, of trying, they tend to give, up, to give up. And in my experience, there is maybe one couple out of 10 or 20 who is going to be able to overcome those challenges once they decide to break up. If they break up and then get back together, eventually, you know, they, they, they might work it out, but it's only a fraction of couples and a fraction of individuals who have enough focus and determination to make it work. And, uh, you know, that's the only reason why getting back together does not work usually, because it's easier simply to start over with somebody else. Your ex-girlfriend is going to fall for another guy eventually, uh, you know, for another, another man, and eventually feel like it's easier to simply go with somebody new where there are no um, hurts, where there is no past, where there are no hidden negative feelings about, you know, past experiences, and start all over again. And uh, to tell you the truth, yes, it's possible. It, it works. It does actually work to simply start over with somebody fresh, make some behavior changes in yourself. But then when you start a new relationship, you come with a new, you know, new material, new skills that you can start applying. And it is easier to do that than to go back to your ex-girlfriend and try to work this out with her. The reason why, again, it's because you need consistency and also because her presence triggers a whole lot of memories, a, a whole lot of emotions. And if you have been hurt, one or both of you, in the past, within the relationship, then, you know, the wounds are often still open. Eventually a behavior, an attitude, something that you say is going to trigger a chain reaction of emotions in her, which recall past negative memories, maybe. So all that is still there. And again, it is some, I mean, most of the times it's easier to start over 
again with, uh, with a new partner. It doesn't mean that you cannot work on, on your couple, on your relationship, but it means that when you come to a point of breaking up, most of the times it's already because you have been waiting far too long. You should have started working on your relationship maybe you know, one year or two years earlier for to have a chance of working it out. But when you break up or you divorce, it means that one or both partners already gave up. So the, the chances of actually you know, gaining momentum and energy to work things out is not going to be there. This is why you know, if you are a man and if you are in a breakup situation, check right now. Identify the key reasons why you did break up, okay? And if these reasons are still there, then forget it. You know, you can get back, you can try to get back uh, with, uh, with her, you know, start over for a month, two months, and eventually you are going to face exactly the same challenges that you were in when you, break, you, know, when you broke up in the first place. And because of that, you will, you know, end up breaking up again, and uh, take distance and this is going to be even more painful so my advice is let go really focus on the future focus on the opportunities which are open rather tr than trying to recall the past which is already gone the temple of your relationship it collapse you have to face it you have to uh, look at it straight in in the eyes look at this fact and simply accept it and then it's much easier to actually recover your power and look into the future and rebuild a new relationship in the future, okay? I hope this makes sense. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.